YouTube, and I don't want to take any chances. I assume none of the music or any of the words are copyrighted, but we're just not going to do it. Okay, now here's the difficulty level. You got very hard, hard, normal, easy, and very easy. We're going to play very easy. That way it's a little shorter. Okay, but you can play it as hard as you want. All right, level one. All right. Six meager shanties create an area of housing in which immigrants arrive. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Heal you participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations, you must lead one family, generation by generation from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory through the dawn of civilization to the establishment of a unique and powerful emperor, empire, and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago along the banks of the River Nile in an area known as Nubit. Here are small confederacies of clan struggles to eke out an existence in a harsh environment where you as the head of the family leads this small settlement. Okay, to the city we begin. Housing and roads. The first thing this village will need are housing to provide settlers with a suitable place to live and a network of roads allow its eventual inhabitants to find their way around and easily and efficiently. Build areas of housing and you'll soon see people move into the village. Okay, see, there it is. Roads. Click and drag the mouse to build lengths of road one time. And it closed on me. All right. All right. This is the world map. Okay, we want to review. All right. Okay. Here is a small. All right. The Empire and Beyond. Our story begins 5,000 years ago. There are a small confederacy of clans struggling to eke out an existing and a harsh environment with you as the head, your family leaves the small settlement. Okay. All right, we don't wanna read the, all right, this was what we were reading. At every intersection, walk, walkers, most choose which way to go, so each intersection lessens your control over their actual routes. Path road, plan roads carefully with as few intersections as possible to ensure that people walk where you want them to. The path by which these immigrants reach your city is known as the Kingdom Road. 
Migrants always need free passage from the Kingdom Road and to the city housing areas. If you isolate some neighbors from this virtual link to the outside world, its homes will simply disappear. Each to exit any message panel like this one, click on your right mouse, right mouse. There you go. We're gonna can't you cannot delete the blue messages. Okay, now first we look up here and we see all the map. Right now, we just want to build a place for six. Small shanties, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going too fast in this game. We're going to set the speed setting down to 50. Okay. Now we're going to look at the options. Display settings. That, you don't change. Sound settings. Music is off. Okay. Pop. Up message, city, Egyptian, difficulty, pass it on. Okay, pyramid set up, off. Okay. All right, we're going to make a road. All right, we got two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> it won't let you do it over animal breeding round. Two, three. Okay. All right, this isn't picked a good location. Okay, then we're going to do this side over here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, that's what we've got going here. We are still on episode one. The beginning. Now, this is where the world map is, and this is where your overseers are. And they'll help you learn and do your business. And so far, we are what we are. My dog is snoring.
so we've got that and once we'll keep moving on as we go hello how often do they say to sit on the ice do it as often as you like let it sit for that about 10 15 often. minutes that's a lot easier than sitting in the damn tub yeah about 10 15 minutes do it three four times a day at the beginning you gotta okay. shrink down your hemorrhoid. Well, I, I gotta do that. I just put a towel on the bed and went and got two ice cubes and put it in the thing. And Why didn't you put it in your ice bag? That's what I just said I did. Oh, okay. I put two ice cubes in it and sat on it for 12 minutes. And I'm gonna three, four more times if that's gonna work. That'll shrink it down. Because you know John well, I gotta go shopping and I'm gonna be gone two or three hours. Yep. So I'd rather do that than for one thing. Ice cubes don't cost me money. The hot water does. Yeah. Water. I'm gonna stick to the ice. Yep. You know, I can do it in bed. I put a towel underneath it. And there's no problem. I might yep. do it every two hours the rest of the day. Yep. I'd rather do that any day. Maybe I can get rid of it. How yep. come you're not staying over tonight and tomorrow? You got a doctor's appointment? I got to deal with your banking situation. Well, what's I going to do with you not staying over? How else am I going to order you the rest of your Amazon order? Gotcha. Well, there's no hurry about that. We're going to get it done. It's in the budget. You gotta come here and take care of my light bill. I will. Okay. Well, let me know as soon as you can whether uh, I've got to, you know, get dressed instantly in the morning or not. Yep. I haven't even packed yet. You know, I've got to do that. Do you, you see, they might know before they go to bed tonight. I don't know. Cause at least I Because I don't want to get all dressed up and then find out i got to take it all off because... But I know damn well my check will be in tomorrow morning. It always is. Yep. All right. As soon as you can, let me know. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, dear Bob. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. <sighs> okay. Now we are going to put up Zvel. Zvel. Zvel, Zvel, Zvel. Zvel. Devel, Devel, Devel. Okay. Food or famine? A ground population needs a reliable source of food and some means of storing, distributing, and certain animals, like the ostriches in this re region can be Hunted for game, granaries store game, and other foods while the bazaar distributes the food to the village inhabitants. As with most working structure, in order to function properly, these buildings must be located within reach of housing, and the city must have enough workers to staff them hunting for food. Build a hunting lodge close to the ostrich flocks, and the hunters will set out in search of prey. If successful, they'll bring back the carcasses. Back to the lodge to be butchered, after which a cart pushes will deliver them to the nearest granary for storage. Different workers from bazaars assess the needs of the neighborhood they serve, acquire food from the nearby granaries and deliver the food to the houses in their immediate vicinity to meet their needs. See here it all is all right here. All the pictures. Build granaries and bazaars. Click on the storage distribution button. Ultimately, your goal in this mission is to transform some of your crude huts 
into mega shanties. This will accomplish by providing them with water, food, and food from the bazaar. Also make sure they're not too close to any unsightly industrial buildings or inferior housing, which discourages the home's improvements by lowering the desirability of the area. You will eventually learn various ways to increase an area's desirability for now. Those simply avoid locating homes to here to the industry overseers. An overseer to the granary is now available to provide information or advice. It's hard. You will have many advisors to help you run your city. To access your overseers, click the overseer icon in the appropriate building. Okay, hunting lounge. Okay, granary. Come on, slow pokes. Go ahead. I know I turned down the speed. You guys don't run with the speed of light. Okay. Here it is. Across here. All right. All right. So I was able to leave both of them. All right. Now here we go into population. We produce far too little food for our growing city. Granaries hold nothing. Current housing can hold 117 more people. But yada yada. And seven newcomers arrived this month. This is the granary, and these are the hunting lodges. These areas right here is our meat. An ostrich. That's a big drumstick. All right. Okay. There's still, as we progress, because we're basically in the learning section, well, as we progress in the game, more and more things will become available. Eventually, religion, firemen, build construction people, schools, music, government, roads, etc., etc., etc. There's a lot to look forward to in this game as we progress into it. But we are just starting out. Ever so slowly. Okay, we want to go up to 70% now. Just to get things moving because they're going too slow. We want to get them snapping. See? That's what the sims look like as they hunt the ostriches and kill them. If you put anything over their breeding grounds, they won't have more ostriches. And they don't pop up as babies. They come up as big ostriches. You know, the game just makes more and more appear. Okay, now we have some meat. So that means the first thing we're going to do. Oh, clean water just popped up. Well done. You managed to supply the village with a granary with food. Now the villagers need access to clean water from the water supply, which is more preferred over well water. Water supplies like water must be built in underground with underlaying ground water as indicated in the promise of grass. Okay. 
Once up and running, the water supplies will dispatch carriers to carry buckets of water, buckets of clean drinking water to all the houses has immediate facility. Click overseeing waters to see where the houses are, have access to clean water, supply to simply well supply water or no water to sources at all. Mission briefing. To complete this mission, you'll need to provide six dirty huts with food from the bazaar so it will evolve into a meager shanty. Click on this scroll icon to deliver the other mission parameters. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that away. We're going to put up a water supply. And then we're going to put up a bazaar. And then we're going to build a road here. And voila. Okay, let's save our game. My Egyptian city. Yep. Saved. And you're going to literally see the houses will evolve. Okay, we've got five of them. And we've got that. Okay, excellent. So what we want to do over here is we want to Priests predict the city will be blessed with a perfect and donation coming year. Um, I N U N D A T I O N. I don't not don't remember how to pronounce that word. Basically. The river flooding. It'll be perfect. Okay. If you get the message it's not on clean land, just move what you're seeing to another area so okay that's in the wrong location we want to go back to the middle like this we want to extend the road like this and we want to go the bazaar this way Visa. Remove, remove. Okay. What the? Oh. We want bell water. Okay, so we've got three food bazaars up and three places they can get water. So that should help them to evolve. Okay. Yeah. Let's save.
know why it's doing that. There we go. Save. Yep. That's the way it saves. We've literally got a population of 368 up here. This rotates it. See? That rotates. This is the date. This is the population. This is how much money we got. This is the overseer. This says help. We will question. These are your options. That's to save. See? Meager shanty. See, things are working up. All right, we have one. All right, let's proceed. That was the first episode. Victory. Well done. By fulfilling your people's bellies, by filling your people's bellies with a nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse, you have helped the f this fledgling Civilization takes its first step on to a long road of history. Final culture, zero. Prosperity, zero. Final kingdom rating, 50. Final city funds, $4,489. Final population, 408. Your mission was completed in 36 months. Least difficult level... Very easy score, 1,260. Congratulations. You can go back and try to beat this score by clicking on Choose the Mission button. Right-click to leave. But we're going to leave it right here for our next mission when we come back and play this game. We will because remember I'm gradually bringing up all the games I've got that I'm currently playing. Okay. This was episode one of Pharaoh and Cleopatra, but it's Pharaoh part. And thank you for watching the Sea Sparkles Corner. Thank you, thank you, thank you for playing with me. Love y'all. Stay tuned for all the fun. Don't want to miss anything. Bye, everybody.